Hi, this is Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm doing a 10 cards, one kit video featuring the Simon Says Stamp April 2018 card kit. This is a part one of a part two video series and each video will have five cards. While the kit is in fact sold out, Simon Says Stamp usually has the individual items available for sale. So let's take a look at what's inside of this kit. It's packed full of goodies and it is worth its, its value for sure. It always comes with a piece of candy. This one has two Distress Oxide inks, one in Squeezed Lemonade and the other in Mermaid Lagoon. It also has the Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Blending Brush, which I'm super excited to use. I'm gonna have to get more of those. It has two envelopes. Those are the Bright Ultra Heavy White Envelopes. It has 12 sheets of the um, Lawn Fawn Really Rainbow 6x6 paper. All really cute. It has a stencil. That stencil is the Butterfly 6x6 stencil. I'm trying to show you what it actually looks like. <laughs> really cute, huh? And then it has a really big six by eight clear stamp called Beautiful Day that Christina Werner, she designed. The kits always come with the um, idea page and it also tells you what's inside the kit. And then I'm gonna open up this paper pack. It comes with one sheet of ThermoWeb Gina K Designs Sparkling Silver Fancy Foil, which I have never used, but I really like it. And it comes with uh, two sheets of stamp, uh, Simon Says Stamp, the 120 pound cardstock, the 100 pound cardstocks in Island Blue, Doll Pink, Bright Yellow, and Lipstick Red. So let's get right into the card. This first card is start out with a piece of the Lawn Fawn paper. Uh, pattern paper trimmed down to 3.75 inches by 5 inches and from there I cut those down to uh, squares that are 1.25 inches each. I'm trying to line up the pattern there so you, as you can see. From there I'm going to run each square edge onto the Mermaid Lagoon ink pad and then I'm going to glue those into place. What I went ahead and did before I started any of these is I cut down all the colored cardstock that came in the kit down to four and a quarter by 11 inches and then I scored those at five and a half to make those uh, top folding A2 sized cards. And I also did it with one of the Simon Says Stamp white card stocks. Now what I'm doing is I cut a circle out of the Nina or out of the Simon Says Stamp white card stock with my Spellbinder Circle Nest Abilities and I taped the die in place in order to brush the squeezed lemonade onto the circle and still leave a small white border. I really like that brush. And I pulled out my Mini Misty to stamp the sentiment onto the circle using Lawn Fawn's Jet Black Ink. The Mini Misty makes it really good and easy to be able to stamp multiple times. I also stamped those leaves onto the Simon Says Stamp white cardstock and now I'm just Copic coloring those with YG05 and YG09. Nothing really special. And then I'm going to fussy cut those out. And then I'm going to adhere all that using some foam tape. And then I'm going to finish it off using some Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequins in both 4mm and 6mm using my Multimedia Matte and Crystal Katana. And I'm going to use those sequins throughout this whole series, trying to stick to just a few embellishments. Uh, for the most part, other than a few embellishments, coloring mediums, and various dyes from my stash, I've tried to stick to using mostly just the supplies from the kit. And that's going to finish off card number one. For card number two, I stamped out the butterflies from the set onto the Simon Says Stamp white cardstock using Lawn Fawn's Jet Black Ink, 
because I'm going to do some coloring with my Copics, as you can see. I blended out R22 into YR02, and then I'm going to blend it into Y06, and then into YG05, which is the green, and then into BG57, which is going to be the blue, and then into BV02 to get a rainbow effect. And I'm so proud of myself that I pulled out the sucker. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and eat that while I'm making the rest of this. I fussy cut out the butterfly and I covered it with some sparkle using my Nuvo Glitter Gloss Aqua Shimmer Pen. And that white panel there, it measures one and a half by three inches and my purple panel measures three by four and one quarter. So now I want to use, I'm really excited to use that Thermo Web Gina K Design Sparkling Silver Fancy Foil that came in the kit. And I've never used foil before, so I don't have a laminator or the glues that you can use with the foils, but I do have the one in, one fourth inch score tape. So I put that down, shiny side up now, matte side down, and I'm gonna burnish that into the, the uh, tape that I put down using a dry baby wipe. And there it is. I'm gonna put that into my Mini Misty, and I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment with the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. I'm going to adhere that to the purple pattern paper. I'm going to put that back into my Misty after I'm done there, and I'm going to stamp the butterfly trail. Now at that card panel, I feel like it's just missing something, so I try to jazz it up by stamping the leaf with the squeezed lemonade all over the back panel, but you really can't see it, and because that is a pigment ink. I went ahead after I stamped the whole panel and used clear embossing powder to see if I could at least get something for my efforts. And I just spread that all over and then I heat that up with my heat tool and that was that. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere my uh, patterned paper panel down using that Tombow Mono Multi. And then I'm going to take my butterfly and using the uh, multimedia mat, I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue right in the center of the butterfly so that I can hear him adhere him down and still have his wings up a little bit. That liquid glue that I'm going to be using is a pretty strong adhesive, so it'll work really well for this. And that's going to finish off card number two. So then I'll move on to card number three. I'm going to start by taping down my card base with painter's tape. Next I'm taping down my stencil, um, which is actually the My Favorite Things Radiating Rays stencil. And using the Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Blending Brush, I'm going to brush on some squeezed lemonade. And I do that all around, and I can at least I can pick up my stencil to see how it looks. And with that tape there, it's just like a hinge. And once I'm satisfied with how that looks, I'm going to fill in the center of the sun as well with that lemonade. Off camera, I used my Big Shot and some Tailored Expressions Build a Scene Rolling Hills dies with the green pattern paper from the kit. And now I'm sponging the edges with Mode Lawn Distress Ink. And I'm going to attach those to the panel with my tape runner and then I'm going to cut off the excess with my scissors. And here, after I'm done with that, is where I screwed up my sentiment. I stamped it directly onto my base and it was crooked and it was splotchy. So I had to re-stamp it on a small piece of cardstock and so I just cut some flag ends into it for interest. And I'm gonna set that there just for an idea of where I wanna stamp my little black butterflies. And once I'm happy with where my butterflies are, I'm going to use some foam tape and I'm going to attach my sentiment with the foam tape so that it has a little bit of dimension. And of course that couldn't be it. I decided to attach some sequins for more embellishment. 
That tool is the crystal katana, and the glue is the multimedia mat, which dries clear with a matte finish. And that finishes off card number three. So now we'll move on to card number four, and I'm going to start with a die cut circle using the Spellbinder Circle Nest Abilities. And once again, I left it in the die to give it a white border while I brush on some Mermaid Lagoon ink with the Distress Brush. I can see why they want you to probably have one brush per color, because now once I've put that blue on there, it's going to compromise my yellow just a little bit, which we'll see in part two, which will be coming shortly after this video. I spritz a little bit of water on there, off camera for texture, and now I'm just making sure that it's dry before I move on. I'm using my Mini Misty to stamp the sentiment in Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink. And then I use some Mermaid Lagoon to scrape directly onto the edges of my pattern paper panel and then adhere it to my card base using that Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive. Now I really enjoyed working with that fancy foil so much that I go ahead and I'm going to grab two strips of score tape and I'm going to adhere those down and then I'm going to burnish the foil into it like I did before. I think I might just have to get more of that foil and find other ways to attach it because I sure enjoyed that. This is, I mean, it's just so easy to do this part and I have so much of that foil left over it doesn't take much. You just set that down. And I used a dry baby wipe just to burnish that in. And it leaves such a beautiful effect. Now I stamped my butterflies onto some more of that uh, Simon Says Stamp white cardstock with the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. And then I'm going to trim those out. And I'm going to color those using the same Copic colors from before and fussy cut them out. I'm not going to show you all the coloring because it's nothing fancy and it's using the exact same colors. And once I start fussy cutting here in a second, you're going to notice that I have a visitor. My cat just could not stand that there was no room on my lap for him. So he makes his way across my lap. You don't see that part, but then you start to see his tail. <laughs> And I started to get a little concerned that his tail was going to get in the way of my cutting. So uh, he ended up making his way behind me. Moving on, I used foam tape to adhere my circle and one of the butterflies. And I used my multimedia mat to adhere the other two, just like I did before. I really love the idea of those butterflies having their wings kind of up. So I just grabbed that multimedia mat and I put it in the center because, like I said, it's a pretty strong adhesive once that's down. And you can tell I'm running out, so I'm going to need to get more. But um, I just love the look of those butterflies with their wings up. And to finish it off, I'm going to go old school, and I'm going to round those corners of my card. And that's going to finish off card number four. So let's move on to the final card for today's video, card number five. It's going to be a shaker card. Might as well go big or go home, right? So I'm going to start with a yellow pattern paper cut down to four by five and a quarter and a circle was cut out using uh, of the center using a circle die. I used a white panel slightly bigger than the circle and I stamped the biggest butterfly on it using my Mini Misty and some Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. While I had all of that out, I went ahead and stamped the sentiment inside the red card base because I didn't plan to have a sentiment on the outside. I wanted the focus to mostly just be on that shaker. Those sentiments are just so pretty. I love the script. And using those same Copics from before, I colored my butterfly. Nothing new, nothing different. And when I'm done coloring it, I use my Nuvo Glitter Gloss Aqua Shimmer Pen to add some shine. You really can't see it uh, in the video, but you can definitely see it in real life. Once my panel is all centered, I'm going to adhere it down to the red card base with some more of that Tombow Mono Multi. That stuff's nice because it just gives you a few seconds of wiggle room. And then I'm going to adhere some acetate to the back of my yellow pattern paper. And I'm going to use the uh, multimedia mat to do that. It gives a good thin 
thin edge. I almost put it on the front. Uh, it goes a good thin edge and you can adhere your acetate down quite nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a generous amount of foam tape that I've doubled up on the back of that panel. And I doubled it because I want to make sure and ha that my shaker elements have a good amount of room to move around. So once I'm done peeling all that off, I'm going to pile up some pretty pink posh sequins, both 4 millimeter and 6 millimeter, in the center there. And I'm also going to use some white glitter dust in the center. And then I'll adhere my butterfly panel, or I'll adhere my pan my yellow panel over the top, and I'm going to push it down to secure it. And then once that's all adhered down, I can't leave well enough alone there, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it off by gluing down even more of those pretty pink posh sequins. And then that'll end up finishing card number five. So like I said, this is part one of a two-part video where I make ten cards with this one kit. If you liked it and you want to see the other five, go ahead and like and subscribe so that you don't miss part two. Because those cards are already done, now it's just a matter of editing that video and getting it up for you. So thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day.